The Russian nuclear submarine Nerva seal was handed over to India at a ceremony held at the Zvezda shipyard in Primorye. At the request of the Indian side, the press was banned from the ceremony. At the end of the event, the conning tower was unveiled to reveal the new name Chakra, and an Indian Navy flag was hoisted over the submarine. Now the former Nerva will be run by an old Indian crew. The Indian Navy long-term goals become nuclear. India, in fact, intends to create its own strategic nuclear trade. The experience India will gain from using a nuclear-powered submarine will be invaluable. The submarine will bear the name Chakra for another 10 years, during which time India will pay Russia about $900 million. Technical documentation on the completion of the submarine's test was assigned at the end of the last year. The Indians never had any complaints about the quality of the Russian defense industry products. They are sure that the quality will be up to the stretch and the Russian specialists are all ready to help with the repairs and will charge less. The sub was to be leased out back in 2009, but the schedule was disrupted by an accident in November 2008 when the fire extinguishing system went off accidentally, killing 20 of the 208 people on the board with the toxic gas. As regards the delay, I think it's not at all important, since the main thing for India is to have a reliable modern and effective weapon and acquire experience in using and maintaining it. According to Igor Karochenko, submarines usually have a service life of 30 years. NERPA will be Indian for only a third of this. There is also a modernization program in place, under which the nuclear submarine can be refitted for use by Russia.